Day five at the Aegon Championships and at the quarter-final stage of the competition, only three seeds remained in the draw. A real chance for our final eight to climb the Emirates ATP rankings at the business end of this tournament. Fourth seed Marin Cilic took on Donald Young for a place in the final four at Queen's Club and the Croatian number one was looking in supreme form on serve in the first set. Inside in forehand working well as well. In fact, Cilic's one break in the opener sealed the set and in the second, the 2012 champion, again untouchable on serve, was trying to create a few more openings. Oh, oh, right in the corner, that's a beauty from Cilic. That's the shot that was working so well for him in the first set. In the end, the fourth seed could rely on some unforced errors from his American opponent to complete the job. There it is. Fourth time lucky. Cilic finally gets the job done and gets past a plucky but ultimately disappointed Donald Young. Daniel Medvedev's match with Grigor Dimitrov was almost over before it even started. Having tweaked a shoulder in the warm-up, the Russian needed a medical timeout, and once the match began, it was obvious which side the Bulgarian would be targeting. Oh, good running. But Dimitrov was there, poised, ready to strike. Dimitrov swept through the opener, but Medvedev was showing few signs of injury in the second as he pulled ahead. Oh, it's just too good. Gets his reward. With the match all square, the Russian squandered a break lead in the decider, only to be roundly punished by the sixth seed. He's in full flow right now, Dimitrov, this is more like it. He's put it wide, there it is. Game, set, match to Dimitrov. With some relief, I'm sure. Thomas Burdick and Feliciano Lopez met in what promised to be a strong serving encounter. Early in the first set, the veteran Spaniard was displaying some agility that belied his older years. Oh, oh that's incredible. 35 years old, having none of it. Rolling back the years. Lopez took the opener on a tie-break, but with the second also going the distance, this time the check number one was in the ascendancy. Oh, that's too good. That's really impressive from Berdich. Deep into the third, with light fading and Hawkeye only available for another few minutes, Lopez, who had already saved match point, was able to use it to his advantage at the most opportune of moments. As he made the line. It looks as though it may have dipped in. Oh, it has. He's caught the line. And the former finalist went on to wrap up the match shortly afterwards. There it is. Lopez seals the deal. Doubles partners in this competition, Gilles Muller and Sam Querrey faced off to complete the final four lineup. And the Luxemburger was after an early break in the opening set. Good running. Again. He's got it. Oh, that was impressive. Muller took the opener and without so much as a sniff of a break throughout most of the second set, the American number four was asking plenty of questions at the death, but the world number 26 had all the answers. Oh, he's got himself out of trouble. After denying Quarry two set points and twice coming from a mini breakdown in the breaker, the man from Luxembourg sealed his semi-final berth in style. Oh, he's got it! A volley to win it for Muller. What an extraordinary finale to this match. So the semi-final lineup is completed, with some grass court specialists rising to the peak of their powers at just the right time.